In this video, I'm going to show the basics of how to start counting using PlanSwift on-screen takeoff software and how to import or how to select items from the Red Rhino assembly and product catalogs and then how to import those products or assemblies into Red Rhino software. Now this is a very um, uh, down and dirty and fast demonstration of that. Now as a caveat to that, when I'm using Plans Swift on-screen takeoff software, I like to have my Red Rhino integrator open. So to do that, you just click on Red Rhino connector at the top and you log into the integrator just like you do to Red Rhino. Now I have a username and password set up for this demonstration. If I could spell, <laughs> it'd help better. Now again, you just log into this integrator just like you're the same login as Red Rhino software. I'm going to click login. It takes a couple seconds here. Let it open up and you'll see the integrator appear on the screen here. Okay. Now here's the Red Rhino integrator. For now, I'm just going to minimize that. My point in showing you this is when I'm using Red, or Red, when I'm using Plan Swift, I like to have my integrator open, okay, in case or for when I want to use it. I'm going to minimize it and reduce it down to the bottom of my screen. This is the symbol for that, okay? the Red Rhino integrator. Now another thing I like to do when I'm using Plan Swift is I like to be logged into Red Rhino. So you'll see that I've 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 already logged into Red Rhino. Now I already created my estimate and sections. That's in the instructions that you need to do this for setup, okay? I'm jumping all over, but I just want to show you the precursor is is I have my Red Rhino integrator open and I'm logged into Red Rhino software. Okay, that's the way I prefer to do it. Now, I'm on a lighting plan right now. I'm going to scroll in and show this a little closer up. So I'm on a small screen. I'm on a laptop actually recording this. I typically do material takeoff with PlanSwift with a 32-inch monitor. Um, some people have larger monitors, but you do a lot less scrolling and a lot less uh, zooming in and zooming out the bigger the screen you have, okay? Now, over at the right, you'll notice that the assemblies and products catalogs from Red Rhino are, are in here. Now, here's something I'm just going to tell you a fact about. What you do is you you drill down in the catalog for what you're looking for. I'm going to go into assemblies. So I click the plus sign for assemblies. These assembly and product catalogs mirror match exactly what's in Red Rhino. If you go in Red Rhino estimating software and open up the assembly catalogs, they look exactly like this, okay, in both. So if I could give you one piece of advice, really do learn how to find what you're looking for with regard to, to the assemblies in Red Rhino and the product catalogs, okay, because it'll help you here. Now I'm going to drill down into the commercial uh, assemblies, commercial industrial catalog product or catalog 200 here. I'll click the plus sign and it displays the assemblies that are pre-built in Red Rhino software. Okay, I'm going to drill down into fixtures because that's what I'm taking off and I'm going to, you'll see the different subcategories of a fixture assemblies here. I'm going to drill down into the recessed LED fluorescent fixtures. So I'll click the plus sign. Okay, now once I drill down this far in the catalog, what it's displaying here are the actual assemblies that are pre-built in Red Rhino software. Now you'll notice that as you hover down, you'll see these assemblies. You see a green dot on the left, and you see a color on the right. The the uh, the color on the right is the color that it's going to count when you click on the blueprint in the center there. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. My point is about this is a lot of the work has been done for you because we make it available or easy for you to to find what you're looking for. I should say to have the the assembly catalog in plans with we, we do all that work for you. We select the symbols and the colors for you. Now here's what you need to do. What you'll do is you'll go through this assembly list and you'll click on the little green ball next to the assembly that you want to actually count. And when you do that, I'm going to click on it. There it goes. It opens another page here. I should say a little pop-up window. Now, it shows the description of the assembly here, but more importantly, what you need to do now is you need to select the section that you want these materials to flow to when you export them. Now, I'm going to click the drop-down here, and you'll see 
basically the sections that are in this estimate. Now I do want to import these assemblies when I count them, after I count them, into the branch and lighting sections. Again, these are sections uh, I've already set up in Red Rhino. When I select that, the drop-down collapses, and then I click OK. Now, when I click OK, the digitizer lights up, and what that means is it's ready to count. As I click on the screen here, it's going to show a symbol. It's going to show a colored symbol for each time I click on it. So I'm clicking, left-clicking with my mouse, and I'm counting these fixtures. And as I do on the left-hand side, you'll notice that it's showing there's a count of six so far of this assembly. And it's on this blueprint, there's this count of assemblies. Okay, now again, I said this would be short and sweet. My idea is to show you how to get started doing takeoff, but then how to learn how to, uh, to, so that you understand how to export things to Red Rhino now. I'm going to show you that. Up at the top of the screen, you click on Estimating, and it displays the different assemblies, or rather, it displays the different jobs that you have. Now, actually, this is already opened. The way it would display it is right here. This is how you would see it. It shows the different plans with jobs. You will drill down in the job that you're working on. Now, in this demonstration, I only have one job in PlanSwift at, to, at this teaching or training. So you click the plus sign next to the folder, the job folder, and it opens up and it shows you the sections. Now, in this case, it shows that I have a assemblies in this section. Now I'm going to show you just real quick how to how to export these to Red Rhino. I hold down the control button on my keyboard, CTRL, control button, and I click on the item or items I want to export. Guys, when you're doing this for real, there would probably literally be hundreds of different items, both materials and assemblies that you would be clicking on here. Okay? Now at that point, I'm going to open my Red Rhino integrator. I'm going to click the drop down of the integrator and select export takeoff. Oh, but you know what? Before I do, I need to select the correct job. So let me back myself up here. I need to click on the Taco Bell Monrovia job. Okay. And now I click the drop down and select export takeoff from that job. Now you'll see that there's sections that are lit up in the integrator. And I want to export this branch uh, or these, these uh, lighting fixture assemblies to the branch and lighting section. So I'll select that. Okay. Now when I do it highlights, it puts the arrow here. Next, all I do is export takeoff. Now again, when you do this for reals, guys, you need to do it one section at a time. So you'll go in and you'll, imp you'll import, or I, I should say you'll export products and assemblies one a uh, one section at a time so you'll click a bunch of items that you want to go to this section and you click export takeoff okay now when it's complete it will tell you so it'll do two things you'll see on the integrator it says export completed successfully I'm going to minimize that now and also on this takeoff list you'll notice over on the right it says exported which means it's it's indicating to you that you've already exported these products to make sure you don't do it again okay now I'm going to go into Red Rhino again I've already created this estimate with sections and I imported the materials into the branch and lighting section I'm going to drill down there to view that I clicked on view and here you'll see that I imported uh, the assemblies for the um, the two before LED fixtures. Okay, so I hope that helps. Again, the purpose of that was just to show you how to get going, um, how to import, um, how to count items in PlanSwift using the Red Rhino assemblies or product catalog, and then how to export those items using the Red Rhino integrator. Okay, hope that helps. Take care.